All right, we have AP mid and jungle, so we need to pick an AD champion here. They are pretty much full AD besides Zerath. They have zero engage in the drop besides Pike. Um, there are a lot of options here, to be fair, for me. I'm thinking of Jace, for example. Jace is very good in isolation 1v1. Fiora can do well. Jax can do decent. And we need an AD champion for sure. I think I'm gonna go with Jace for one game here. Yeah, I like uh, taking this room page, uh, this room page against the... Their top side, I mean, face rush is decent against like this w and like his e but i think conqueror just allows me to play the matchup more consistently every move you made i was watching you if you are serious about improving and climbing to your desired league rank you're in the right place this year i've worked on laying out two courses that will help you in all aspects to improve one is about all the fundamentals for the landing phase and the other one goes in depth on tempo and the mid to late I've been challenger for 7 years and I can guarantee you that this will massively speed up your process and reaching any goal that you have set in mind. Both courses have a preview video where you can see the style of the videos, so check those out before anything. You can also always join my Discord to check out some reviews. Alright, let's get into the video. Um, we have multiple options for item starts, but this guy is playing Homecore Sorcery, and I'm just gonna go Deep Blade. I think it's most consistent. I could go Longsword Refill. I don't think it's... Actually, maybe Longsword Refill is better, because to be fair, I don't necessarily want to skirmish with him that much, as spiking earlier is good too. Hello, is your patron still active, or do you plan to keep uploading content there? Yes! My patron is active again. It wasn't active for two months, but I'm coaching again, so I'm putting content on Patreon again for coaching and I am uploading educational games again. Now against Darius Chet it is very very tricky to get this war down mostly because he can just run me down with his sorcery ghost right so I'm not going to look to get a war down actually. Alright we are super weak sided here because this is probably a map position. Evelyn is starting here and Grace Darius are starting here so I'm gonna put my war down here actually and right now Chet in these scenarios what you want to do when the map is split like this because Evelyn after her buffs is probably going down here and Grace is gonna go from here to here I want this wave to push into me. If my wave pushes into the Darius, I'm always gankable. If the wave pushes into me, I'm safe to play. Right, so this is how you approach the weak side scenarios. We only want to last it at the latest frames, because ultimately, we want this wave to push into us. That was kind of bad for me to hit him. He's Q star Darius. Again, I want to last it only at the latest frames. It's even okay for me to last lose some last hits like this. Okay, that's not okay! Okay, Grace is going both set. Okay, we, we're free to play as we want. is okay. I played extremely reserved early game, mainly because I was scared of a potential Graves gang, but he's going to bot side, so we're fine. Now let's play for a level 3 and look for trades. Go! If you guys wondered why I won, what I did was I got my level 3 and I was stacking my Conqueror stacks before the skirmish even happened. Then, what I did is I went W in ranged form. So if I press W in ranged form and switch form, I get very fast auto attacks in melee form as well. So I stack my Conqueror extremely fast. I got 12 Conqueror stacks and I'm able to kill him. So now what I need to do is slow push this wave, hard push next, and get it to crash into his third. Beautiful, chat. We get it to crash. He used Flash Ghost. I actually don't know if he used Ghost, but he used Flash for sure. So we're in a good position here. Alright, um, we have multiple choices here. He bought boots. I mean, I kind of want to start stacking my tier. It's not the best purchase because I leave with 200 gold, but yeah, it is what it is. I think I'm going to just walk here. Even though it will make me lose some melees, I think it's still better for me to walk here and save my TP because I feel like this game is going to go very volatile when I don't have my TP like this. I could TP to top here, right? And I wouldn't lose these melees, but I still think it's better to walk here because I feel like this game is just going to be very volatile on top. So I prefer keeping my TP here for now. He did not just go, so I think he better. So you see, I lost three melees, right? But I kept my TP. We can argue maybe it was better to TP so I can still get those three melees. But here, like I said, I think it's okay. Wave's pushing into me so I can thin it out. I want this wave to push into me so I'm not gankable because my jungler is both sides. Every time my jungler is both sides and I don't have flash, I just want to get pushed in because I'm very scared of a potential Graves gank. And right now when the wave is pushing into me, I'm not forced to walk up for last hit and that means I'm not vulnerable at all. And even though I lost those three melees, you see I'm actually still ahead in EXP on the Darius. He just hit level 5, but I'm still going to collect a wave that is bigger than, his, than mine, right? So by default, I'm still ahead in... XP. Now we're in a happy spot. I mean, I'm stacking my Conqueror very consistently here, buddy. I got 10 stacks. Okay, I missed my Q. Okay, my Conqueror is going to go away. He can't kill me. He has nothing. Nice. 
There's the thing right here. No E, so he can't kill me anymore there. Now, again, we need to push this wave as fast as possible to get the wave to crash. So I'm gonna wait for my Q to come back up, and I stand in the mean so I can hit everything. There, hit everything with this, get it to crash as fast as possible. Boom! Uh, right, I'm gonna buy this, and I'll match boots, I believe. I think matching the boots is just going to make it easier for me to kite him. I don't have to TP. It is going to push back into me. And uh, yeah, I really like my position. So I think we played this bounce absolutely beautiful, right? We spaced him well, we didn't get hooked by him. And then when he hooked me, or is it a blow half HP? So he hooked me, but that left him with no cooldown, so then we could kill him afterwards. So I think we played this really, really well. And now same thing is going to happen. You see, he has no potions. This is something you should always be focusing on. So my opponent here comes back without potions. I have two potions and I have TP. So I will definitely win sustain war. Now, if I do an equal health trade, it kind of benefits me, even though there's a plant in the river here. So I have to keep that in mind because it does have priority to try and get to the plant. So now I want to try and thin out the wave so I can manage to keep this wave in the happy spot position. I'm level 7 to him being level 6. So I could look for a small trade. But I don't want to all in. I think we can s space him. I have 10 Conqueror stacks. I'm going to wait for my E. I press my W, look my auto attack speed. Right? That's what happens if you use W in range and then switch to melee. So we just kited, we had our 10 Conqueror stacks, then we jump onto him with the 12 Conqueror stacks, and we kill him. Now, the thing is, Graves is bot side, and that allows me to look for plates finally. Right now, I don't have to look to get a tempo reset, because I still have my TP, so I don't necessarily need to gain tempo. I know Doris has just respawned, and he probably has enough gold for Tabis, but he's walking back to lane right now, and I have enough time to try and snatch in two plates here, and even have enough time to kill this wave. So I'm gonna kill this wave to get myself more tempo. And just when I'm done killing the wave, the Darius is probably gonna start showing up any second now. So now I'm gonna get this plate as well. Like I said, I didn't really need to get the tempo because I knew where Grace was at. And now we can recall for free. Darius should arrive any second. There we go. But we still get this plate too. Now we got two plates, we got the kill. The wave will bounce back into us, and we're very close towards our mythic. Here are double options again. I think CDR boots benefit me more. And I'll sell this and get this. And I'll TP. Now, the reason why I like CDR boots is because it's instantly going to refresh my cooldown TP to shorter too. And tier 2 boots are very good against Darius. He has no potion, so again, trading equal HP like this is, is a banger. Now, it's easy for me to kite him too, right? Because I have tier 2 boots. Four Conqueror stacks. No got the play. Alright, we need 900 gold for Mythic. I can snatch 100 gold right here. I'm gonna to try and do that. I'm gonna Q it. So I get 100 gold probably still. She still got 300. Evelyn wasn't happy about me trying to steal her money. Okay, fair enough. I'm sorry, Evelyn. She's 0-2. I can respect it. Alright, we need 900 gold and then we're chilling. Now, if you guys are wondering, this Darius is around Diamond 1 anymore. But he's getting a little bit fundamental. I don't want to look for this. It's not good for me. I want to just look to recall. So I'm gonna ping my jungler. He has double sums, it's risky. I want to use wait for my E so I can one-shot these mains and I have 900 gold. Alright, now we can get our mythic. Let's check our mythic here. This guy's gonna go Tabis, this guy has some armor. Uh, I think we're actually allowed to go Dustblade here. And the reason why we're allowed to go Dustblade in this game is because these three players are never going to be building any piece of armor, right? So Dustblade gives me more movement speed, more ability haste. So that's pretty good. I think ability haste on Jace is absolutely wonderful. Now, the second item I think about here is obviously going to be Man Immune and then Serologist, but I'm considering maybe... Seeing a Spear of Sojin would somewhere fit in my build. But let's find out. So now my abilities do a little bit more damage, right? That's the mythic passive you have. Or, or that's another passive you get with uh, building the dust plate. Now I go Blue Trinket on champions like Jace. Because I'm actually not really good at face checking, right? So when your champion is not really good at face checking, such as Gangplank, such as Jace, you want to go for the uh, Blue Trinket. So you are a little bit more secure. I have a very big shutdown, so I'm going to push in this wave. Because I'm kind of scared of getting ganked. I don't have flash. And now they can't gank me. I have no idea where the Graves is at currently. I'm gonna work here. And I kind of want to poke this guy so it's harder for him to all in me. Okay, I missed. Like, okay, we, we know Graves' position now. So now we can play as we want to. This guy has both sums. But I think I can all in him even without him having a single HP missing. We should be heralding this for sure. I gotta make sure he can't get into his E range. If he hooks me into the third range, I can't retaliate and he can stack his passive really safely. So I gotta stay away from the range here. Okay, but this poke is really, really good. This will make it very easy for me to try and progress onto him. But, I saw Pike roaming into top. I have no flash. Grace can come top as well. So, we gotta play safe here again. Evelyn had timer to, to Herald. She didn't. And yeah, now it's tricky. Okay, Pike is going mid. I think that gives me the plate. Wonderful. We get it. You kidding? Okay. We got it exactly. It is 1k HP. <laughs> Darius can never get back into the game as long as I don't die. So my biggest goal here is to never die. As long as I don't die, they can't really get back. I see Pike here. I still haven't spotted Graves. My flesh is back in 30. Then I feel more comfortable to play a bit more towards my limits. 
Okay, Zero dies. Still don't know where Graves is at, but he has no topside camp, so maybe Graves isn't topside. Okay, Graves is mid. Nice, we spaced him. Alright, but with Graves being here, I get level 11 too. Now I want to brute force his turret. So we played pretty secure for two minutes there, right? Because I had no idea where Graves is at, but now I've guaranteed his position. I feel free to do whatever I want. I want to hard push one more wave. So I make this wave bounce back into me and we're getting very close to this item too. If I can get 2.5k gold before my reset, that would probably be best for me. So I speed up my tempo that way too. The reason why it speeds up my tempo is right now if I recall and I spent this gold, then I'd only be on the map for like a very short while and then I'd have to basically recall again and, and get the full item, right? So here, if I can get to the 2.5k gold, I would love to do so. I have TP here. But if I TP on the turret, they just kill the turret, so yeah, I don't think I can TP there. That was anything for me to TP on, unfortunately. It's going to be a hard game to 1v9, to be fair, because my teammates are really, really griefing. Like I said, I want 2.5k gold and then reset. I can collect a wave here, and now I kind of want to take the rep of 2. We got the 2.5k gold as much we wanted. Probably going to look to play into Bolt, because there's still turret there. And I believe that enemy team is going to play into Herald, right? So enemy team is going to get this dragon right now and then probably play into Herald. And I'm going to use the fact that they're going to play into Herald to go bot because I want to try and play away from their team right now. Their Draven is two full items. Their Pike is pretty strong too. The Draven is the only one with the shutdown though. So let's see. My next item is probably Soraljas. And after Soraljas, I'm thinking of Sojin. And then I'll have so much haste that I could probably Q twice with one wall. This third is an objective of mine. The blue buff is a pretty good objective. Oh, Pike missed. I get the shutdown. You sure you want to do that? Alright, we get 10 points to the turret now too. Nice. I could TP here to defend the turret, but I think it's better for me to look for a turret myself as well. Okay, I'm waiting for this wave to come, so whilst I'm waiting, I'm gonna quickly grab this too. Trying to maximize my income. The small ones to give the most money, actually, so I gotta get it that way. You see, the Scuttle's here, there's a blue buff here, there's a next wave coming, so I think my order here is wait for next wave to come, push next wave, then dip and go for the Scuttle. If I can kill somebody inside, like I can play for the tier 2 too. Pike is there, Graves is there. I wanna play for this turret, actually. It's 600 gold, right? So tier 2 turrets are one of my biggest objectives that I can get ever. It didn't spot me. After Zero has cleared this wave, he's probably gonna walk into mid. That's my guess here. Oh, he's gonna go for next wave. Ah, oh, that's unlucky. I gotta play the most risk averse I can, but it's very hard with my team's, teammates' performance. I still gotta make sure I never die. Okay, that's really bad. He took this plant, I guess. I didn't think of the plant, huh? That's just bad to hit there, I guess. It's very out of tempo. Draven has three items as well. Well, what I mean as well, I don't even have three. That guy's Bill Gates, bro. That guy's Mercs. Hello, oh, Mr. Shit. Alois GL on your games today, Alois and Cheer. Thank you, brother. Dust split as well. My team actually won the skirmish too. I'm not gonna play for tier 3, I wanna get tempo more on other things on the map. I'm gonna try and maybe get this tier 2 as well. I don't like the inhibitor, turret, it doesn't really give me anything. Yeah, I do think I really wanna kill Zero to be fair. But I'll just outpoke him. Where are you, bitch? Alright, he's winning the poke war. Why is my FPS down to the dirt again? It's 100 again. Yeah, I'm having some FPS issues I guess on my stream now. Okay, my team lives so I can get the 600 gold here. It's a bit faster here because I get the 122 extra damage from the auto attack. Okay, let's recall. We have so here I can consider between a lot of items. I can go for Shoujin or I just get my Garden Angel, but I really want to try the Shoujin. Can I queue now twice in one gate? Can we queue twice in one gate chat? We can! Okay, we're the sniper! We're the snipers! We're the snipers chat. We're the snipers. I've never had this. Okay, okay, we can queue with we can queue twice with one gate. Let's let's snipe them, let's snipe them, let's snipe them. We just play long range now, they have zero engage. We gotta become some solid snipers, though. Oh, that's not the target I even wanted. Why, why is this guy still alive? FPS issues. I don't know how I somehow jumped on the pike when I clicked on the Draven, but it's like, yeah. Oh, now they're all dead, by the way. Okay, I can wave clear pretty well, because I can Q twice with one E. Yeah, you don't expect that, did you? Why do I just kill him? That missed.
Ooh, my Leona. The guy's stairs though. Very nice, my Leona served this honestly. I think I misplayed it. Oh, this guy almost played me still. All right, what item do we get last? If I die, they end the game, so let's not flip it actually. You can go for the plan too. Yeah, I gotta be careful here. Pike is probably gonna come too. Pike is coming from top side. Pike is coming here. Oh, I'm dead. Nicht gut! God, nicht gut! There's a rep buff that I really love, honestly. What? Oh, I'm dead, aren't I? Okay, that's really bad. Could have carried this game easily if I played a little bit better. Honestly, this build is really fun, though. It's all sad that we lost so hard, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah.